So it's fight week now, uh, seven days to the fight. So I like to just sometimes come up, get get a sweat on at the start of the week, open up the lungs. So today we're just going to do some sprints, get in the mindset, sort of start visualizing as well while I'm while I'm running and get ready to smash this guy. been a lot of a lot of challenges a lot of roadblocks but i think the biggest one was probably definitely the mental side the side you know the part there's been deaths in this camp there's been um death, death of a friend or, or a close friend of mine and there's also been lack of sparring partners so all of this sort of this stuff that built that builds into the mental side of it am i prepared enough are the guys that uh you know are the spot the lack of sparring partners gonna affect the fighting so there's a lot of there's a lot of that side of it that is that should be should really have put me off but all i can say is alhamdulillah uh, we're here we're mentally ready despite all of that despite all of the roadblocks um we're still here we're still ready to go and um you know that's that's alhamdulillah that that's that's uh, all in the hands of allah Change direction, punching forwards. Chin down, shoulder side. Here comes your wall. Normal, normal, relax, relax. Nice, easy, easy. Easy, don't want to pull anything. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Shadow boxing, hands on me, move around. Chin stuck in, shoulder side. Head movement, level change. Less is more. Don't need to do the combination. We'll see quality side to side. Don't just throw for the same. One, two, three. On that top. One, two. Three, two, three, rest. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> So today, uh, spoken to coach, we're just going to do some fight simulation stuff. So keep it nice and intense but not too much hard sparring hard sparring is done now so keep it nice and light and just stuff to emulate what's going to go what's going to go on in the fight so short drills and shot like so. So Ben, what was the purpose of uh, the leg conditioning and the stomach conditioning? Uh, just to get us used to taking those shots without any protection. So these here, obviously to protect your partner more than anything. So in the fight we're not going to have these. So getting used to taking those kicks is sort of getting us ready for what it's going to feel like if it was a real situation or if it's in a fight.
One strike. You see, we're standing in front of each other and we're trading. I'm even uh, throwing shots to his face so he's composed. I'm not trying to knock him or hurt him. You know, slippers. I'm walking on the I want you to drill in this, and that's it. You that's your drilling space. No one's giving you no room. It's like, like, it's like even flow. Like I just want you to sit. That's it. Just move your head around and just get in. Just get in up a little. Just get in. Oh, there you go. Nice with that knee. Good. That's it. Just pull it back. Good. Just pressure, pressure, pressure. That's it. No, not too intense. I, don't, I want it like flow state. Now pull away. Pull it back in. And you've got you to do that for three minutes. It's more work for you. Yeah. It's more work for you. That's it. Uh, that's the pressure, good. Time, breathe, guys. How are you feeling the bed? Good, just try a strange, but that's quite weak. Excellent! 50 sit ups, 50 leg raises, 15 burpees, let's go! Raiden, Abdullah, final of the weekend, are there any tickets? Yeah, still or something. Yeah, we got some tickets. How much are they? 35. Oh, man. Can you use it? Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. yeah. Oh, you can, yeah? Oh, okay. So, 35 pound tickets to support the guys anyway, okay, guys? So, show the final of the weekend, hopefully it goes all well. They've done, they've put the work in and now we just put our trust in Allah. Um, for the rest of us, uh, we support them through the week, they've got a weight cut, so if they start talking random stuff, you're going to know why, because they're dehydrated, yeah? Um, uh, but that's part of the process, okay? It's hard work getting in there, and, and, and we're with you regardless of the result. We, we know you work hard, and that's the main thing. Come on, come on. I don't know. Who the hell will see that? Okay, so today, uh, we're just making it work. They're cutting weight, the weight now, so we don't want anything too intense. They've done all the sparring they need to do. All the training, all the intense stuff is all out of the way, and now it's cutting, so um, it's just repeating those patterns again and again. Right. And just, and just uh, you know, breaking the sweat, um, staying healthy and covering nice and easy until we get to the fight. Um, but we don't want them to get out of that pattern of uh, combat. Assalamu alaikum, my name is uh, Abdullah. I'm uh, a base teammate. I've been training with Abid uh, this uh, whole fight camp, Alhamdulillah. Uh, we've been training hard. This is my first uh, amateur game. This is Abid's second fight. But both of us have been putting in our work, Alhamdulillah. Uh, and um, with, uh, with time, with uh, Aam, I recommend you get that But um, yeah, Alhamdulillah, we'll see. We'll see how the, how, how the week goes. This week we're just going to be weight cutting, we're going to be continuing training. And then, Alhamdulillah, on Sunday and get the win, inshallah, Amin Abid. Asalaamu Alaikum, I'm Sheehan. Um, I'm a Abid's fight manager. I've known him for about a year. And see, the reason I wanted to be his fight manager is because I've seen him, like, his work rate. And it's amazing, especially in this camp. And I'm super confident that he's going to smash his opponent, um, inshallah. So, looking forward to the fight. Yeah. Fight predictions. I think Abid finishes this fight wherever he wants to finish it, inshallah. So long as he's confident in himself. <laughs> And his preparation, and um, to be honest with you, Hamdullah, there's no matchup that's uh, gonna give him a hard time. So long as Hamdullah, he has belief in his ability, um, which he has a lot of that, and um, he he goes in there and he's confident in himself, inshallah, and leaves it to hand in the hands of Allah. Um, I'm happy with the way he's trained, Hamdullah, and uh, I think going forward now, inshallah, he goes in there on uh, Sunday. And uh, he makes himself proud, firstly, inshallah, that's the main thing. We're happy and we're proud of him regardless, so inshallah, I'm looking forward to it. One week left of the fight, how are you dealing with the nerves? Fight week's always um, a difficult one to navigate, especially for different people, but I think for me the main thing is if you're ready and you did the preparations correctly, you will be re you'll be confident, that's the main thing. If you, you know on fight week if you're ready or not, that's number one. And if you didn't do the preparations correctly, then you will probably be more nervous than usual for, for, for any other interclub or stuff like that. So I feel confident, not too nervous, even, we ha even though we did have the, the opponent switch. Um, I still feel confident. I think the, uh, this matchup is a bit more exciting. 
Um, so I'm just ready to go in there and have some fun. I think that's the main thing. As long as you know it's a bit of fun, I chose to do this, and this is the life I chose, so I, I enjoy it more than anything. That's the main thing. So this week, um, the diet is obviously the most, the most horrible thing you can do. Anyone in Blackbeard, you ask anyone in Blackbeard, me, Kashan, Hardy, Sheehan, all of us, we're foodies, man, we love our food. So this week is like hell. You literally can't have anything. You can't have carbs, you can't have any bread, you can't have cereal, you can't have pot. You can't even have porridge, bro. That's the worst, you can't even have porridge. So literally this morning I had three boiled eggs and a can of tuna, like straight. Oh my God, I can't, that, I can't eat anymore, man. It's the worst thing, it's the worst thing on earth. I obviously, I feel, it's a little bit, I feel a little bit drained, but that's, that again is just from, I think wear and tear of the whole of fight camp. I think um, if we just, inshallah, rest correctly, nurse the injuries that we have properly, and just uh, get enough sleep, I don't think the diet will be too much of a problem when it comes to in terms of training. I want to make a statement in the division, that's the main thing. I think for me, this fight is to put the whole division on notice. That there's a, there's someone there's a new uh, there's a new uh, fighter in featherweight and I'm coming for everyone. That's the main thing. <laughs> Last session at camp, me and Abdullah are gonna sweat off some of the water that we've been drinking over the past couple of days so inshallah I'll just get this done and then we can just focus on the cut and then fight and that's it I'm done. I'm just gonna hit a little bit a little bit of a circuit, get a sweat going. Not not I think that all the work is done now. Today is literally purely just to keep the lungs open and get the sweat going and that's it. Last time I was in there, this is what it felt like, with the lights up, so kind of a bit reminiscing. So I'm here, I'm just punching that in front. What, what would you do? Would you be messy here? Or are you going to po uh, compose yourself here? Yeah. As he's, if he's moving, if he's moving, you know, and I'm, I'm cutting him off, I have to also pick my strikes, right? Yeah. I can't just run with me while he's moving, yeah. you know what I mean, yeah? So yeah. it's just a thinking game now, guys, yeah? The work's been done, just think, keep moving, just circle and that's it. We're just, we're just keeping it moving, it's a very tight ring. We're gonna have to take that off, innit? Huh? Here, around the knee as well. Just keep your hands on. Vulnerable. Is it still feeling like hairline fracture? Yeah, that's fracture. That's a fracture. Yeah. 100%. We're going to have to take that up properly. Can you still move it? Hips, 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 hips. Hips. Yeah. Hips up fast. Hips, hips, hips. Yeah. We're head and hips first. His head away, your hips up. Let's go! Thinking game. Don't make it so intense. Good, you're here. Good, I'm gonna be ready to tap or call tap if you feel it. But if it's a dead one. Submission, just yeah, submission. Yeah, good. Good. Nothing else, just submission, good. Lovely. Okay, again, again. Nothing else. No playing about too much. Just a submission. Boom. Good, stop there. Let's go again. Let's go. You have to start getting Things getting thinking. You go back, and we start again. So when I say go, you just come in, do the middle. As we need to get used to your first few steps. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. You ready? Yeah. Just a man, you can't be sitting there. You ready? Hands up, hands up a little bit. Hands up. Good. 
Uh, yeah, now that camp's over, there is uh, obviously I'm feeling relieved that the training's done. But then again, now for the past couple of weeks, anyway, the, the mind has just been on the fight anyway. So I think that is still running in the back of my head. I think that's the that's the main thing now. So the the relief will be once we've done the fight and we finish this guy. So um, yeah, inshallah, we just keep focusing on the fight now. Focus on the weight cut. Weight will come down, inshallah, and um, yeah, that's it. Right. Yeah. So compared to this camp, last camp, if I'm comparing them, last camp, I think there was a lot more structure and there was a lot more sparring partners. So in terms of the actual camp itself, last camp went a lot better. What isn't, I wouldn't say isn't as good, wasn't as good last camp was the fact, it was my experience and the fact that I, uh, I hadn't done it before. So all of it was like new to me. So when I was leading up, when we went there, we stayed at the, we stayed at the, at the hotel and we were together. Was we eating the right stuff? No, we ate straight away. We did she, like we ate the wrong things. We drank the wrong things. We woke up at the wrong time. We slept at the wrong time. So it wasn't the camp itself. It was all of the factors after that was sort of um, in our control that we messed up and that's just due to lack of experience that's all it was and then even in there I wouldn't have said that uh, I wasn't ready it was just that uh, lack of experience that got to me so this time I'm thankful that happened because now this time that ain't gonna happen you know what to do now and we know those small little bits and we've got the camp right we're now gonna get those last few bits right and uh, then there'll be no excuses and I'll finish yeah so obviously I've had an opponent switch um, that sort of it did throw me off a little bit, especially because of the last minute, it was on nine days notice. But then again, it did happen last camp as well. Last camp we had, I think, a switch um, three weeks in. So I think it wasn't too, it wasn't too bad. Either way, um, I'm focused on what I'm gonna do and not what he's gonna do. So the whole point of this fight for me is to go in and show them what my game plan is, what I can do, and not to, sh not to show them that or what he can do, basically. So if I can make a statement in the division like that, and show them that I can, I'm well rounded, I can do everything, I'm going to be a tough matchup for everyone. Um, and I do believe that I'm a tough matchup for most uh, featherweights. Yeah, so my coaches um, have been in the game for a long time, both of them. Kashan, Coach Naman, you know, they've, they've been in the game for a long time. So I think they know exactly what they're doing. They prepare, they prepare me pretty well. The mental side of it, um, even the physical aspects, just knowing what things to tweak, knowing what went wrong in their camps, fix it in this camp, in my camp. So. 
Alhamdulillah, I think I'm definitely, definitely prepared and they, they did that well, Alhamdulillah, they did that for me. So I'm not, not worried about anything. I think uh, I, I'll, I'll have the best coaches. So upstairs, it seemed like you had a little bit of an injury. What was it? Is it anything that's going to affect the fight or would you say it's, it's all right? Um, it's, uh, I think, I haven't gone to the doctors about it. I've had loads of injuries, count, fingers, I've had multiple contusions on my hand knuckles so it's just sort of one of the things i, I threw a, a kick hit someone's knee and i, and I thought i uh, i think i have a fracture in the top of the foot so but you know alhamdulillah like, look you go in there to fight nothing's going to stop me i've decided that i'm going to go fight so broken foot broken hand broken head you know what i'm saying i'll go in there and i'll fight anyway so it won't affect the fight we're going to go in there and we're going to do the same thing we would have done if we had a 100 percent fully healthy foot you know what, mentally it's definitely this weight cut, man. This weight cut is nasty. It's uh, always, it always is nasty, but do the correct research, know what you're doing, and um, and make make your dua. And inshallah, Allah makes it easy. So I got to say that Alhamdulillah, it's not, it's not, it's not too bad. It's not unbearable. We'll get it done, and um, just looking forward to making that weight, man. Inshallah. inshallah, after I win this fight, we're looking to stay active in the division now. So next year, hopefully, we we'll get about four or five fights that year. The year after, similar. And then the year after, I want to finish the amateur, my amateur career there, do a couple, finish on a good couple of title fights, and then uh, move on to pro, inshallah. So. So I bid. Well, I'm in activate gym. You're about to do the weight cut. How you feeling today? How's your day been? Day today's been lazy, man. I just can't do anything at the moment. Just trying to save myself for this. So, alhamdulillah, me and Abdullah, we're ready. Just get this done. This is the worst bit now. So get this done tomorrow morning. Hopefully, wake up on weight. If not, do the last kilo, half kilo, and then just get ready to march up. That's the main bit. That's the. Yeah, yeah. Is everyone ready? Oh, man. I need more water. Splash on these things. I need some water, yeah. Time has started. So, Abid's in the sauna right now. Um, it's very tough, very hard. Um, I don't even want to talk about how he's feeling. Um, but yeah, you'll never catch me in there. Never. Yeah, even the, you know, the mentality to get into that sauna after what, barely eating. You, you don't eat proper food in this week, isn't it? You're drinking a lot of water, you're, you're drained, you're completely drained, no energy, and to get in, how was it in there? Like, what, 70 degrees or more, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's tough, it's tough. And most people don't have the heart to do it. So, that's why once again, the bait's gonna smash this guy, he's got the heart, he's got that mentality, isn't it? So, you're a bit wet, mate. Why got a thinner? There's half a kilo gone. Oh no, nah, not half a kilo, just under half a kilo. Close it, close it, close it. Come on, come on, come on. Ah, nah, don't. Nah, nah, don't pour it, just the bottle. Ah, come on. You want to spoil it? Yeah, I'll see if it looks how long that for? Two minutes? 20 seconds. You need to jump up in. Huh? Uh, 15 minutes. Past 8? Yeah. Hey, Major. Hold on. Hold on to shield. Sorry, bro. Come, you're good, you're good, you're good. Come, you're good, you're good, you're good. You're good, you're good, you're good. You're good. Hold on, for a little bit. Yeah, hold on, hold on. <coughs> Don't close up. Open up, open up. How uh, mentally challenged one was it? Mm. The weight cut is the worst part of any fight camp. Like Training, you can train hard. We're all fighters. We can all push ourselves to a crazy limit. Especially when you've got a coach watching or something. You know, recovering is easy, recovering is always nice. Eating isn't, it's not too hard. But the weight cut is the most mentally challenging part. 
of the whole fight camp. Once the weight cut is over, you're looking forward to the fight. Because the fight isn't, isn't even as hard as the weight cut. You may be tired, but sitting in there 10 minutes rounds, 30 seconds out, it's next level. It's obviously next level. So, before you jump in, last round. Soldier. Salaam bro, what's going on? Sorry, what's your name? Salaam, come on. Salaam, yes, I keep using one. Salaam, nice to have you all the way. Are you ready? I'm ready. Abdullah. Yo. Um, Abdullah. Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 I didn't think I'd be able to sleep the night before the fight, but I slept good on the last one. Just ate, come to the gym, ready to go. Now he's just excited, man. He's coming ready to get in there. Young, something like this. Think about it. These are small missions, but like real missions. That. You even said it. Fuck, you're doing too much, And I was going to pay you back for that ticket as well, bro. This guy, tell that. What are you doing? He's eating a shrike. Don't let him pay for that. Sorry. Like, yeah, some chocolate right now. Actually, he spotted it. It wasn't even me. It was, it was him. So we're gonna go get some chocolate. All white chocolate. Makes sense. Farouk, what flavor? Which flavor are you doing? First fight. These are the best. Oh, you're dead, man. The sugar ones are dead. No, they're not. No. <laughs> <laughs> but what are they gonna do in the medical? Take, take your blood pressure and that's about it, in it. The guy, first guy that I watched when I got into MMA because of Kashan, he told me to watch him. So, but MMA shredded. Going back to going back to the roots. Doing the medicals now. Yeah. Looking at this form. Get there, go over there, get the medicals done, and then we can go and get our hands wrapped and stuff. So. No injuries. Yeah. 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 Amateur competition is now illegal. Okay? Equipment. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Yeah.
What's that? Yeah. Yeah. Have you prayed? Yeah, can I use the timer? Because you got three fights. Yeah. Emilio, we got these two guys. They're coming. Out. Yeah. Okay. Come on, close. Watch your neck, watch your neck. Excellent. <laughs> so now you're like, yeah. you just been flicking me up like on the door. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. Beautiful. Crisp all day. There's no way that's happened. Lenny. No, this is good. That's all. Good. That's good. Just, just to find your range. Yeah, and then a hard one. That's your one. Just that left hook. Yeah, yeah. I need to see yourself on this left hook. I said, Roger is an example of this. Is it Roger? He's striking. He's trying to get. that level change. I'll stop him striking and then pop him again. If he if he didn't get much for you, he's like he will stop him striking to look like. Yeah, but you just reset, reset as well. You come back, reset. Circle, circle, and engage again. The hard work, this is a celebration. Bro. Because ready for you, but then on the level, you have all the tools. All the tools. All the tools, striking, then graphics, everything. Show your level in the exchange. Don't be dumb. You're not dumb. Be intelligent. Always at your pace, yeah? At your pace. This guy has nothing for you. Your pace, yeah? Set the, set the pace, and then both stick to it. Where's your mask on, bud? Never put another man on a pedestal. Still leading with the take one, one, one. Get to shoot a shot, get to throw a shot, and then I'll get to win. Touch it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Touch it. Touch it. Oh, it's good again, it's good. Five, four, three, two, one. Now that time you're going to your own head. Listen, Mo, this is the only time we're going to be reverse coaching. Usually he's like, take it easy. Stop hitting his heart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah.
even if you ask cash, I told cash, I'm not feeling nervous. I, I, when I went in there, I looked at him, I asked him a little question, um, I smiled at him, I was ready to go, I was not, not nervous at all, there was no nerves, I was just confident. So I think either way, if you're going in there and you're stepping in there, you have to be like confident and you should have no doubts about it. In camp, because the whole of camp you're thinking, how's this guy gonna beat me? How could he, what, what are the holes in my game? But now, you've done all of that work to fix those holes. As, you, as you're leading in there, you're thinking, I've fixed everything that I could. There's no holes in my game um, which he can exploit. So I know I'm gonna go in there I'm gonna, and I'm gonna uh, dominate him. And that's, that's how every fighter should be. If you're not like that, you shouldn't be in there.
contract deal was like three people. Put you on the response to this. I can't remember, he ate like three, four crosses, bro. But he's like, bro, bro, bro. He was tough. He was durable, bro. He had a chin like a piranha. I told you that whole basket, but we've been hit by him. He ain't gonna be able to hack that at all, bro. Let me tell you, I hit him with one of the most clean crosses. And he just straight down the middle. He just looked at me like this. He was bleeding, you were bleeding as well. He hit me a shot, he was one shot that opened up my nose. Bro, he had never very good hands as well, bro. You were coming. Yeah, that was that experience. That, that, that's, that's, that's your thing. That, 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 that was it. That's what I wanted. You could have hung that in the middle. You could have hung that in the middle. You could have hung that Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. To be fair, he hey, was sick. You took a heavy shot here and he gave one back straight away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the sickest, that was the sickest scene, bro. Bro, he hit me and it went blurry and I thought, I thought oh shit, my legs got I need to get back in this. Yeah. Otherwise, he's going to finish it. Yeah. So I thought, came back and I had the hand and I knew he was going to throw another one. But you know what was? He was very good at faking a hook and coming through the cross. So he would come around like it was a hook and boom, push oh, it yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I was like, a couple of them. I was literally because I was working. It was but your, your takedowns were. Oh, the next I'm one's at another level. I've never seen your take as a good. Yeah. But the second that one, when you had him and then you drive to your side of the corner, that was sick. No one would... Asalaamu Alaikum. Hope you all enjoyed the documentary. Um, inshallah, more to come, more fights, more documentaries. Just want to give a big shout out to all the sponsors that helped us. Nutripoint, Damascene, um, Entity, The Coliseum, Hacks & Co. Um, everyone played a really big role in that. My latest Instagram post around us promotions. Um, big shout out to Hardy as well for putting all this together. Um, it was great fun and see you next time. Make sure you lot uh, stay updated.